Survival of the Fittest arrives on PlayStation. Sponsored mod applications. And could we be seeing skins finally on tech suits? You're right, kids, it's Ras Clark, and welcome to your regular ARC community news. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around, and let's get into it. So yes, the community crunch dropped last night with not a lot to go on at all, I'm afraid. It appears the elusive roadmap we're all in high anticipation for is still yet to be revealed. Though, it was mentioned this is just around the corner and they're itching to give us a sneak peek into the future of the Archiverse. I think we should call it that. What we're hoping for with this roadmap is, of course, dates. We need to know when Sotif Crossplay happens. We need to know when the Ark, the animated TV series drops, the Unreal 5 engine update, and, of course, Ark 2. It was questioned by the community, do we at least get a release date for a roadmap that gives us release dates? And said the community manager replied with, you most likely won't get a release date for the roadmap, you will just get the roadmap. So with only three Fridays left of the month, the month, they said we're going to see this. Place your bets on which one it's going to be. I'm going to put it up there as hopefully next weekend. It is anyone's guess on when this will drop. But let's face it, anyone thinking it was going to be early in the month, well, you don't know wildcard. Sponsored mods are back. That's right, ladies and gents. The program where wildcard fund creators out there that are building mods for ARK to essentially fund them, support them, and possibly, quite possibly, help them become an official thing for the main game. That last bit, I do need to reiterate a very, very small chance some mods have got through to the official game. And, you know, possibly there could be some hope yet seeing that Arc 1's life cycle seems to be extended just a little bit longer. And one map will certainly be applying for this program. Svartalfheim, you know it's the latest mod map by Fjorda creator Nakatas. Well, he popped on Twitter time to apply with Svartalfheim. Not that this means you might see Svartalfheim for the main game, though, depending on what's going on with Ark, who knows? There could be another map. If we're getting another creature and a community voted creature at that, last we looked at community voted creatures before we got new maps with them is there a possibility we might get another map one last map for arc one i'm very 50 50 on this i just think with so many things already being promised another map on top i don't know man i think we should all be hopefully looking forward to this unreal 5 engine update at the very least i think it's going to be very refreshing for art to see all of the maps being redone in ue5 especially some really old maps. One in particular, the center, is perhaps my most wanted map to be redone in a brand new engine and just readdressed to sort out things like the lighting effects. It's such a cool, adventurous map. Throw some content in on top and you've got a great map right there to play on this new engine update when it arrives. In fact, in a reply to Jade PG a few weeks ago, senior level designer Ben did say, you've got my vote for the center. However, he's not the one to convince. But what dino would you guys have wanted on the center if you could pick one? Food for thought. If you do have a mod of your own and want to apply yourself, I'll leave a link to this page in the description. And I look forward to seeing what mods make the final cut and hopefully get to check them out when they do. Speaking of the roadmap arc, the animated series, which is going to drop as part of it. We're going to find out exactly when we get to see this. Hopefully what platform this is going to be on. We really need to know that by now. And apparently we're going to see seasons one and two for this series. Can't wait to see it. But some new shots from this animation were recently shared. First up, in celebration of International Women's Day, we got a new look at the Broodmother with Mei Yin and Helena standing right in front of it with me wondering how on earth is the Broodmother on passive? Did somebody whistle that or did they tame it? 
Why isn't the Broodmother attacking? Nevertheless, a very awesome image indeed, seeing the Broodmother up close and personal in animation form. It looks clean, it looks mean, a great depiction of the Broodmother that you see in the games. With a wonder, are we going to see the Megapithecus and the Dragon on top? And Mei Yin is just certainly a badass. On top of that, community member Snoodoo posted something on Twitter recently, finding an image out and about in the wild. Posted on Jess Lackey's website, who appears to be lead character designer for Ark the Animated Series. Well, if you click on this here in particular, you get a password. You can't check out exactly what they're working on. But if you go through to their personal tab and scroll all the way down, you'll see Ark the Animated Series with a background image we've not seen yet. Not a lot to go on with this one. It appears to be depicting Zach McLaren's character Thunder comes charging and his family, which according to Ned, are a separate fictional storyline that's not part of the lore. But Quetzal, very small Quetzal, is it a baby Quetzal or is it a large Quetzal? If that's the fact, have they shrunk the Quetzals? Also see what appears to be a Mesopithecus chilling with a crown on top. So, stealth drops anyone. Did you see it? Did you miss it? I wouldn't be surprised if you did miss it. PS4 players, standard PS4 players, PS Slim players on top of that. You finally have survival of the fittest for you to play as well as everybody, almost everybody else. In the patch notes this week, it was detailed that, yes, survival of the fittest has finally launched for PlayStation 4. With the current feedback from you PS4 players saying crashing is still quite a common thing. Getting into matches is still a bit of a pain. Something I mentioned before, Wildcard really need to address to let you know what matches you can actually join and which are in progress. But it's great to see this finally for PlayStation, Xbox and Steam. And hopefully if this continues to be popular, Switch players, you will get this too. We just need crossplay to tie this all together and of course, some reward system. It really, really needs to be introduced now, especially for PC players. I definitely see the population dwindling. It needs some encouragement, some way to attain stardom status by getting so many wins. It can simply be just some glasses, a pair of shades for getting a win. That would be enough for me. Or go much further than that. There's so many cosmetics already in the base game of Ark 1 that surely you can just throw into this game. I know, easy for me to say, I don't make the game. But I'm just saying, have something, have some form of reward. It doesn't have to be a battle pass though. I do think a battle pass would work. Anything at all. But it's great to see, really is, truly is. And I'm going to try and play this once again on PlayStation. I will try and stream it if I can. Just a bit of a nightmare to set this up stream-wise. Though it is really popular on PlayStation, you can't get into a game, as I just said. So that kind of says it all, I guess. On top of that, if you've not seen yet, Sotif has completely changed to a much quicker style of gameplay with a smaller circle set in different areas across the map, meaning you may not experience the entirety of the map in each and every game and can build up tokens and tame things a lot quicker. And I like it. I think this faster paced style certainly works. It's a very jump in, jump out style of gameplay battle royales usually are. Why not try it for Sotif? I quite like it. Do you like it? Would be very interested to hear your feedback. Comment below, let me know. And out of nowhere, console players, you finally are able to input cheats a lot easier now. Instead of having to write the word cheat in the admin command bar, you now simply have to write the letter C. Yes, just taking out a few letters, but those few letters certainly make all the difference. I did try this on PC, wouldn't work on PC. Guess this is only for PlayStation and Xbox, seeing that, you know, it's harder to type a lot of things in there because you've got to move around and press all the letters. And apparently there's a way to pick and execute cheats from a preloaded list and to go through your cheat history. And it seems to be by typing in P or H. Though I tried to input this in several different ways and it didn't seem to appear for me. Not sure whether that's a PS5 thing or I'm just not inputting the right thing. But what I would expect is something like what the Switch version offers at the moment with a previously used list there for you to simply select and use at your heart's content. If you did get this working yourself, please share, comment below, let me know so we can tell other people and get them in the know. And finally, skins. You know them, they're a big common thing in Ark. You can put, wear them on most of the clothes that you wear in Ark, but not tech. 
Never has been a thing you could do. Don't know why, don't know how, but there's a possibility you might be able to do this soon. A community member wrote, I'm waiting with my vault full of bikini skins to go on my tech suits and said our community manager did reply with, I did let the team know that people are asking for it. So we'll see where it goes. So people, it's on their radar. Wildcard are aware of this. We might see this in the near future. I'd like to see this. I think it's well overdue. Never understood why we can't do this. I guess perhaps something to do with the jetpack boosting maybe that's the issue there and i hope to hear more on this soon especially with gen 2 you're forced to wear a tech suit pretty much at all times anyway let's skin it up let's make your characters out there looking a bit more beautiful when they're out and about in the wild and yeah hopefully a roadmap next weekend is it gonna happen do you think it's gonna happen comment below let me know my name is ross clark don't forget to like share and subscribe and as always peace out ah.